Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Craig FPS, and welcome back to another Zombies Top 5. Today, we're going to be doing the top 5 worst zombie weapons of all time. This is including World at War, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2. And once again, guys, I did this top 5 with my friend Wilbo. Make sure you guys check out his channel. The link is down in the description, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Coming in at the number 5 spot, we have the SMR. Straight off the bat, I'm going to say that it's a terrible gun for a few reasons. First of all, I'm at round 4 in this gameplay and it takes me 6 shots to kill one zombie. That's pathetic, I'm not going to be using this gun ever again. The only time I'd actually use this gun is if I was doing an SMR only challenge or if I was just getting gameplay for a top 5 like this. But if I would suggest getting this gun, I say no no no, do not get this gun, it is just terrible. That's why it's coming in at the number 5 spot. Coming in at the number 4 spot, we have the Ballistic Knives from Black Ops 2. Now you guys might be thinking, Wilbo, this is really good for co-op zombies because you can actually shoot the player and it revives them instantly. I'm going to stop you right there and I'm simply going to give you the answer no. I'm not going to be talking about co-op, I'm talking about solo. Using this in solo damage is terrible guys, I suggest if you get this in the box do not use it. Of course, packer punching it in co-op is good, you know, you, as I said before, you shoot uh, once and if it misses it doesn't revive the player, but if you actually hit the player, it revives instantly. Instantly, really good for call for solo. I wouldn't use it damage wise terrible. Just do never never Pack a bunch of weapon. It is just terrible. That's why it's coming in at the number four spot. And coming in at the number three spot for the worst Call of Duty gun of all time is the China Lake. Now in this gameplay on Call of the Dead, we have it pack a punch, so it's actually pretty decent. But honestly, this gun is so useless. When you have the standard version, you only have two shots, and then it takes forever to reload, and it's literally like the worst gun. It, sometimes it doesn't even get kills, and if they're too close to you, the zombies are too close to you. You, you're gonna go down anyways, so there's really no point of using it at all. Coming in at the number two spot, we have the War Machine. I'm gonna give you guys a massive sigh. I hate this weapon. I don't say that I hate a lot of things. I love Black Ops 2, I love Newtown, but getting this weapon on Newtown is pathetic. It's really just getting the weapon on any map. Unpacker punched, it is just like you don't you can't even use it. They just bounce off all over the place and I don't know where to start. Pack a punch, sure it's good for high rounds, but we're talking about unpack a punch here. That's why it's a worst weapon. I have never seen a gameplay with anyone using this weapon for good. It is just terrible. You shoot a grenade, bounces off another wall, bounces off a zombie. You might kill a zombie, that's fine. But you shoot a bullet and bada bing bada boom, there it is on the other side of the map. It's stupid. This is why it's coming in at the number two spot, guys. Coming in at the number one spot for the worst Call of Duty gun of all time is the Car 98K. This gun was on the original map, not Sharon Time, and it cost 200 points. Honestly, this gun is completely ineffective if you don't hit them in the head after round three, and it takes multiple shots to kill them after like round five shooting them in the head. It's totally useless, totally pointless. You're better off buying the M14 or something like that off the wall. Literally, I just recommend don't buy this gun in general. It's just a waste of points, even though it only is 200. You might as well just spend more on a better gun. 